Let's now start developing the controller. So we're going to actually to see whenever you click on a button on the uh, GUI components, we want to make sure there is a block of met uh, block of code, namely a method to be attached to that particular button. Uh, especially, we want to make sure when we click on the increments, there should be a specific block of code, a method to be attached to it. And also for decrements and also for reset. And we're gonna define in total three separate methods that will be associated with these uh, three separate buttons. So let's do the controller, uh, start with the developing the code first, and then we'll see that later on, we're going to control, uh, we're going to connect the controller to the model. Let's first of all connect the controller to the uh, view, okay? Okay, so now you can see that uh, we already got multiple button, buttons activity.java. If you cannot see it, go under app, go under Java, and go under ECS 2022 multiple buttons and the multiple buttons activity Java class over here. Okay, so we already have this on create method here. We're going to modify this class uh slight uh this method here slightly a little bit later when we connect to the model. But for now, we're just going to recall that from the previous tutorial series, we learned about different uh private helper methods for us to retrieve the GUI components. And for this particular uh, example here, we're just going to uh, uh, reuse the uh, helper method for displaying the result for the counter value. So uh, I'm just going to copy and paste for this tutorial, but you can just uh, go back to your uh, previous lab exercise and copy and paste the uh, relevant helper methods. So the one I'm gonna need will be this uh, set contents uh, of text view. Okay, so you can see that it, uh, as soon as I copy and paste this code to Android Studio, it's go, uh, it kind of asks me uh, if this really text view I really refer to. So I just want, want to make sure this is uh, properly imported to my uh, class. So over here, it's suggesting that I can just say auto and then enter. Okay, so now the uh, text view has been uh, imported. Okay, and you can see text views here. And then also for the view. Okay, in case uh, you don't have the auto enter option for you, you can simply just do this. Okay, we want the view over here, V-I-E-W, and then you can see that Android view. Use the code completion, it will complete the code for you as well. Okay, so this helper method here, helper method here is nothing new. We have used them before in the BMI tutorial uh, and in other exercises. Okay, so now I'm going to define four different methods and each one of them will be attached uh, for the on-click attributes for the relevant GUI components, okay? So now, let's say this, eventually I know that I'm gonna have one method for this, for that, and for that. So I'm gonna have three of them. So I can say, for example, this can be called uh, button increment clicked, and this can be called decrement uh, button decrement clicked, and this can be button reset clicked, okay? Let's make the convention, convention here, okay? So now let's go back here. So remember to define that, we just say public void uh, button increments clicked. And then remember, in order to actually register this method here for that particular GUI button, you have to make sure you really have view as one of the parameter, as the only parameter, okay? Okay, we will fill in the uh, implementation over here a little bit later, when we, as soon as we are done with the model in the next video. Okay, let's do the same thing for the other two methods. Let's make some comments over here. So you can say this method will be registered to uh, the button with the ID. So let's double check. Okay, the ID will be, remember for increments, the ID is button increments. Okay, so now we'll say button increments okay just make some comments for ourselves okay i'm just going to uh do some copy and paste because the other two uh the header for the method will be very similar okay this method will be registered to the button button decrements okay i'm just change this to decrements and also the method should be decrements button decrement clicked and then you can see that we still need to keep this parameter over here, okay? And one more, we have to do for the button, reset, okay? So over here, the method will be registered to the button, button reset, 
Okay, and then button reset over here. And let's also double check that on the GUI component there, we really have these two IDs. Okay, so you go back to the GUI part, and then this is button increments over here. And then for decrement here, we really have button decrements. And for this button here, we do have button reset. Okay, so now you can see that as soon as we actually de uh, declare these three methods, although their bodies are empty at the moment, but we can already register them. Okay, so later on, whenever we change the body of implementation, their effects will be reflected right away. Okay, let's go back to our XML file. First of all, let's go to increment over here, and then uh, we should really look for the on click attributes. Okay, so now for increment over here, so we should go for the on click. Okay, so now uh, we can click on over here, the drop down menu here, you can see button increment clicked. Okay, we can choose that over here. Okay, that's done. And then we go to decrement here, and also for the on click attribute, we choose a uh, button decrement clicked. Okay, and now for reset, we also ch uh, choose the uh, the corresponding method over here. We'll choose button uh, reset clicked. Okay, if you're using a different version of Android Studio, you should still be able to find on click. May not be uh, may not be immediately uh, available there. You may have to go for view other attributes to go through the attribute, but the attribute name should be on clicked. Okay, so so far we actually have. Uh, we, so far for the controller, we are not completely finished yet, but we actually have done the stuff that can be done uh, before we do the model. So we have done this particular helper method, which will let us set the contents of the text view, which will be over here, okay? Uh, the text view at the bottom over here. We'll do that later uh, when we connect the model. And then also we define each, uh, we define three methods over here. Each one of them has exactly this particular parameter of type view. And then we register them to the onclick attributes of the corresponding GUI components. Namely, we got, we registered these three buttons over here, okay? Of course, if you simply just launch the app and then try to click on uh, each of these uh, three buttons here, you wouldn't see anything because the bodies of implementation for these three methods are simply just empty, okay? So what we will do in the next video is we're going to define our mono, namely a counter class, and see what methods we can support for that particular counter. And in the, v, uh, in the video following that, we're going to see how we can connect the controller and also the model.